Welcome back to the island and I wanted to apologize for the lack of content on my channel over the last couple of months. I wanted to talk about all of that and I figured what better way to go about it than to actually go out and hunt for Wildcard's latest addition, the Rhino Ganapha. Now I've already killed one of the males and got a pheromone. Now that the sun is rising, well we might take a look and see if we get lucky. But as for why I've been AFK, well it all began back in January with a tweet from the co-founder of Wildcard announcing a free update for Arc 1 on to Unreal 5. Now, if I'm honest, I was a little bit disappointed at the time that Arc 1 was going to be free, and hear me out here, it's just that that suggested Arc was just going to be an afterthought, and Arc 2, being that it was going in such a different direction and taking risks, it just felt that this port might not get the love that it needs. Now since then we've had literally the worst communication breakdown between Wildcard and its community and ultimately it has left a bad taste in my mouth along with quite a few of you guys. So I've had to put the game down for a bit. I don't want to constantly bash the game but taking a break has definitely done me some good. As for uploading different content, well I have, but even if a video does really well, like the smoker trait video on Project Zomboid that I did, it kind of ultimately has a negative effect on the channel if I don't follow it up with more stuff, so every now and then it's okay, but I'm best sticking with what I know, and that is ARK, and I still love the game. And clearly a lot of you guys feel the same way, being that it's still sitting comfortably in Steam's top 20 most played games. And that's competing with all the free stuff like Warframe, Dota, Apex and so on. So the downside to all of this is the game that we're currently playing is going away. And the communication between Wildcard and the community has been really poor. Well, not just poor, but shockingly shit, to be quite honest. And extremely unprofessional to the extent it really feels like they haven't got a clue what's going on. And it's just a kick into the teeth to the player base and those of us who are most likely to buy the game. And yeah, <laughs> this is why I've not been making content because I might just go into a rant like that at some point, but yeah, I don't know. But I mean, I would rather be the optimist that is wrong than the pessimist that's right when it comes to ARK. And I do have a few things I want to talk about that I am excited for, and there is reason to have hope. But uh, other things I've been doing on the side, uh, I have been playing V Rising and the Gloom Rot update, which is fantastic. It's it's kind of really fleshed out the mid part of that game, and it was probably my favourite game of last year, to be honest. There's, there's, there isn't any games out to talk of. I'm playing the same stuff that we always play. Um, they've just got a seven days to die server up on the discord again it's one that we always circle back to isn't it when it comes to these survival games it feels like we've been playing the same ones and we all just want something new i am definitely hopeful for nightingale that sounds really up my street so that one's going to come out this year so i'm, I'm can confidently say i'm definitely going to be doing some content on nightingale i can't wait for that but it is a bit too soon to write off Ark, and what do you know? A radio. Um And it's a female, level 85. Okay, well, I'll grab it. I wasn't expecting to find one so soon, but I'll um, just bring it back to the base, well, the trapping area. I've got everything back there that it will need. Um, if, <laughs> don't take this as a proper guide on how to tame these things. They're simple enough. Actually, they're simple enough, um, especially when you've got to this stage of the game and you've got tech and ice wyverns and all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I'll see you back at the trap. Okay, well, I've kind of messed this up. I've got my Giga stuck in the corner there. I've taken the health down to less than 10%, but... I don't think it can complete its animation, so I'm going to have to open that behemoth door. Um, I have tried this taming trap before, it does work, we've trapped uh, quite a few in here actually, so... Um, but a trap isn't really necessary to catch one of these things. You can just put a tame on passive, whatever your sacrificial tame is, and it 
it will eventually attack it when you get it low enough. I, I think I've just got it stuck in the door, as you can see. So I've kind of messed it up. We're going to have to open the door. Because I don't want to kill it. I know it's only like a level 85, but I'll grab one anyway. There you go. Now it's going to fly off, but yeah, I kind of messed that one up. Never mind. I wasn't expecting to find one so quickly, but I've just sacrificed one of the extinction gigas. That one's got like 20 melee mutations. It, they weren't great to begin with. I can't remember. It's probably about a level 35 in melee to begin with. Something like that. If we were lucky, they weren't the greatest of gigas to begin with, but they did their job and I've got plenty of spare ones, but other people have sacrificed the car cars and other things. It seems like gigas and car cars are the best way to go. And bearing in mind, this one is only a level 85, so I don't know how many points we'll get back, but hey, I've got plenty of spare gigas. Okay, let's see what it uh, craves. Okay, so it's going to crave all sorts of different things here. It's asking for superior kibble. And do I put it in its inventory? Uh, no, it's not letting me feed it. I'm pressing E. Do I have to put it on my tab or has it just got to be in your inventory? One of the two. But we've got plenty of stuff standing by here. It can ask for all sorts, even the golden haspinosis egg. So you just want to have as much on standby as possible. Oh, this time requiring gasoline. And some black pearl this time. So yeah, strange and unusual requests. Okay, here it goes. It's gonna there it goes. Says it's animation as it bursts out his chest, and there we go. Got ourselves a little bug. And just put an imprint on that and see what kind of points it ended up with. I mean, yeah, not hard to tame really. You don't even you don't need a trap. You can just net these things and put anything on passive. And it ended up with 40 points in melee, so I, I don't know how that's calculated, but that's, you know, that's a pretty good melee damage for a level 85. It's definitely taken something off the Giga there. I don't know what or how it works, but we got one anyway. Let's just stick some food on it, and uh, yeah, now we'll try and get an imprint on that, see if we can get them numbers even higher. Now, it's been over a week since I tamed this thing, and since then, Wildcard have announced yet another controversial change by putting Ark Ascended into Early Access, and of course, there's going to be a delay. So, pretty much, I'll continue <laughs> the video. It's basically what I was saying before. They don't know their ass from their elbow, and they, they just don't know what they're doing with the game. But let's check this new bug out. And... What's, I'm definitely getting this stuttering or it's rubber banding or something. Okay, yeah, look, it's definitely got this horrible sickly rubber banding effect going on. I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, always something with Ark. I hope they fix the fog with Ark Ascended. You know, let's not have it foggy underneath the ocean wild card. You know, that, that'd, be, that'd be nice. I'd pay for that. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna reload. Let's just restart this. Try again. Oh. Okay, let's see if that fixes it. Now, my PC isn't a slouch. I'm using a Ryzen 3700X and a RTX 3080, and uh, yeah. Like I thought, that didn't fix it at all. It's just got this horrible stuttery rubber banding, so it's probably down to a recent update. Of course, we never know what's in their updates. They just say update at this point, fixed a bug, <laughs> and introduced five others. So yeah, you can see tech, that's not causing any stuttering, and uh, I'll just chuck my wyvern out here, which, even though it won't look like it, will be faster than that B because I've pumped some speed into this and yeah, no stuttering. So, well, my first impressions of this creature are, yeah, pretty poor to be honest. Uh, do you know what? I'm just going to cut 
to some footage of playing on the centre map, which is actually a playthrough that I'm doing. I've got I've got some footage of a, a frog on a cave, and I'll just finish my final thoughts and talk over the top of that because I can't. Uh, wild card, what are you doing? <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty disappointed with the newest introduction to Ark Survival Evolved, but you know, in my opinion, less is more, and I think that they should concentrate on giving existing creatures a little bit of a TLC, just like the uh, frog here, which is on the center map. Now, the center map is the one playthrough that I've still got going on the channel. It's the one game that I need to complete, and this playthrough well, uh, it's unmodded. Well, largely unmodded. We've got the Spyglass and a Stack mod. And, of course, it is a Steam achievement defeating the, the Guardians on this map. Um, so there's a few things I want to do with this before I wrap it up. Um, and, yeah, I did have to log back in to check everything was alive. And uh, I kind of got lucky. I think we only lost uh, some Otters, maybe a Baryonyx or something that I had in my pocket. But for the most part everything had managed to survive and and then goes uh, vexing cat into the lava just missed a jump there but I'm being pretty reckless on this frog and I definitely definitely want to build some battle toads when Ark Ascended comes out you're gonna see it here first overpowered battle toads for the caves I mean they're just they're just brilliant um, but anyway I think we can all agree that Ark, you know, it, it does need an update. It's getting old now, and I hope with Ark Ascended, not just the fact that they're going to add the Lumin technology, which all of the shadow and lighting, everything that we've seen from Unreal 5 and what it can do, it really will change the game quite a bit. And in spite of all of the concept art that they keep on releasing with the community crunch, which on honestly, it, it just goes into our meme section. It doesn't go into ARC updates. We just sh shove it in memes at this point because I, I don't know if they're just trolling people with that stuff. But, you know, <laughs> there is some positives uh, to take away from it. For instance, the update um, where they showed off the new building concept art. It looks like they've changed the triangle for the way we're going to be doing buildings, which means that we're going to be able to build in circles, kind of like what Castles, Keeps and Forges mod does. So that that really kind of, um, that's a nice tweak. That is a nice tweak. I, I like I like that idea. But pretty much any time they make an announcement, it, it, yeah, it just tends to backfire on them at this point. And uh, I wish rather than releasing new creatures, they'd, they'd concentrate on the ones they've got, because there's hundreds that they could choose from. The spider there, the anthro, scorpions, the frog. They could all do with a TLC. Um, and rather than adding new creatures, I'd, I'd, I'd be much happier with that. I don't know about you guys. Tell me in, down, down below in the comments. But I fully intend to come back to the center map and complete that playthrough. And there is a guide or a tutorial I want to put out on that for the artifacts, because you don't actually need every single artifact on this map. You only need about six of them and the rest of it's just collecting tributes. So I think I could do a nice condensed guide for, you know, just what you need to be able to get through the map. Uh, nothing with spoilers in it or anything like that, just sort of locations of, of, of what you've got to be wary about and where, where to sort of go and point you in the right direction. So I think that'd be pretty useful. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I also miss jump at the end on the, on the frog, but instead, in spite of that, battle toads. I'm telling you, it's the future. You're going to see it here first. Battle toads on this channel is going to be the first to do it in Ark Ascended. <laughs> and uh, as for other games and stuff, well, we'll see what comes along. I do have high hopes for Nightingale, and I am playing other stuff on the side. It's just if it ends up being too linear, where everybody's gaming experience is the same rather than something more sound sandboxy like arc it's it's really difficult for me to uh, make content out of that sort of like the v rising stuff i feel like 
I'm just spoiling the game if I show you what's going on. Everybody's experience of that game is kind of the same, and it's the good fun, fun about it is discovering that stuff for yourself. Whereas with Ark Survival Evolved, well, you know, possibilities are endless in, in some respects, and uh, there's so many aspects to this game that uh, I love. I just, yeah, like I say, I've, I've needed a break, and... Um, and I'm looking forward to getting back at some point uh, to ARK. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, I just want to say thank you to all of the patrons that have, of course, stuck with me and expect some more content from me over the coming weeks. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.